Hi, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Apple Wallet. Maybe you know it as Apple Pay. And more specifically, what we're gonna talk about is how to remove a payment method or a credit card from your Apple Wallet. So let's go ahead and get this started. So first off, if you're looking for Apple Wallet, it's probably already loaded onto your iPhone. It's this little icon right here. It looks, well, it looks like a wallet. So we'll go ahead and open that up right now. All right, so I've opened up my Apple Wallet, which is similar to Apple Pay. Apple Pay is actually a function inside of the Apple Wallet. But what we're going to talk about is how to remove one of your payment methods or credit cards. But a brief overview on what Apple Wallet is. Basically, it is an online payment method. So if you're going to pay for something on the internet or if you're going to pay for something inside a store, if they have an Apple terminal set up where you can pay with your phone, you can use any of the credit cards that you associate with your Apple Wallet. Be sure to go Go back and check out my other video on an overview of what Apple Wallet is for specifics on how to use that. So why would you want to remove a payment method? So sometimes the credit cards that you have associated with your account maybe expire or maybe you've closed the account down. So there's no reason to have it in your Apple Wallet unless you want it for historical records. But for me, I'm going to remove one of my Chase accounts. This is one of my debit cards because I no longer use that account. And how do you remove the credit card? Well, it's pretty simple. As you can see, I have have these four credit cards associated with my Apple wallet. I'm going to click on the one I'm going to remove. All right. So as you can see, this says Chase Visa Debit, and I no longer use this account. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And how do you do that? It's pretty simple. You just click right here on the top right. It's those three little dots that gives you the settings for this particular card. All right, so I pulled up the settings for this card, and as you can see, it says my Chase debit card. And if you wanna remove it, all you do is just scroll down to the bottom here. All right, so I scrolled all the way down to the bottom, and then at the very bottom, you see that red button that says remove this card. All you wanna do is go ahead and click there. All right, so once you click in there, then it's gonna give you this option to remove card, but just be sure to read the warning. It says removing this card will also remove your transaction history. So any kind of purchase that you made with this card while it was associated with your wallet is available to view in the history of your Apple wallet. However, once you delete it out of the Apple wallet, that history is deleted as well. Of course, you can go back to that card's paper statement or online banking to see what type of transactions you had, but you will not have access to it inside the Apple wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that now. All right, so I went ahead and removed it. And as you can see, that card no longer appears right here at the top. So that's pretty easy. If you want to remove more credit cards, then all you would want to do is just repeat the process. So again, just click on the card. And once you're in the card, you just click right here, these top three dots, and then just scroll all the way to the bottom. And that way you can delete that payment method. So let me go back out to the main screen. All right, so there you have it. That is how you delete a payment method or remove a credit card from being associated with your Apple wallet. Hopefully you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.